so I'm brushing my teeth. Good morning guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm actually working a 7 degree shift and I thought since you guys like the 11 to 7 shift that I would film as I went along today during my day. Well, I'll try to film as much as I can considering that 7 to 3 is a lot different than 11 to 7. Right now I am just getting ready for the day. It's literally like, <laughs> it's 5.30 a.m. And I'm just getting ready to go to work right now. So I'll see you guys from there. <laughs> anyway, I just got to work. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just, this is so funny. <laughs> because i just got into work and so there was originally after i picked up there was three people on the schedule right two upstairs two downstairs two person on the floors because we don't have that many residents that's fine but we do have residents on both floors that require two cnas to take to take care of them i can't talk <laughs> anyway this is how anxious i am now one of the cnas out, out of the three that was on the schedule one called out an hour an hour before her shift right before her shift now they're expecting uh, well i don't know what the hell they're expecting but if they think that i am staying here and working one person on the floor they're freaking hilarious anyway um so that's the situation because i literally just walked into work usually when i come in we do rounds and continue with the shift bringing everybody out and getting ready for breakfast and coffee however since there isn't, there's literally only two CNAs on the schedule now. The other one hasn't shown up. I've, I'm actually the only CNA right now that showed up for seven to three. <laughs> so y'all, like I said, I was not gonna work freaking one person on the damn floor and that's what they're expecting me to do right now. So I'm taking my sweet ass back home, like F this job, I don't need it. <laughs> anyway, but I'm sorry that you guys will not be able to get to see my seven to three shift routine because of this unfortunate event and it's also like like it pisses me off because i kind of just wasted my gas to come all the way over here just for it to turn out like a day like this you know what i mean but like i'm so tired of this job this is why i have a separate job and this is why i only work here part time so that i can pick up shifts whenever i want like just as pr and or whatever but this is the main reason why I found another job at the beginning of this year. Because of this calling out. Like you're telling me you allowed a CNA that's on the schedule to call out one hour. One hour before her shift. And that's okay. Me leaving and not wanting to work alone on the floor is not. They're just like, oh, if you punch in and you can't leave because states, uh, they could call state and whatever. I'm just like, okay, I'll call state. Call state and tell them how you expect a CNA to work on the floor by themselves. Call them, tell them, go ahead and tell them that. I want to hear that shit and let's see what state says. And also they want you to work on the floor. Residents that require two CNAs. How am I supposed to work on the floor alone with residents that require two CNAs? Anyway, but like I said, I'm sorry that you guys will not be able to see like my 7 to 3 routine and whatnot. I will try to do another video. I will try to take you guys along on my private job next week. I also wanted to point out that short staff and um, like organization and scheduling by far is the biggest issue with this job. And it's been an issue since I began to work here. Anyway, I don't care. It's not my business. The place, the community itself is so beautiful. And it's really, it's really a nice place to work at. Really, it is. It's in Windermere. I mean, come on. Windermere. You really need to get their crap together because this place is just going down and people's not going to want to work here. But, oh well. So guys, I actually decided to continue vlogging and to basically carry on with my day regardless that my plan for that video got ruined. So I'm just gonna continue with my day and bring you guys along. And you know, if you guys want like a story time or something, just let me know and I'll make 
a video about that. Uh, my boss also texted me. And I'm just like, really? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. I wonder where I signed up to work alone. So, instead of letting my day go to waste, I decided to come to the gym. Um, this is just a little small gym in my friend's community. I use it. She doesn't, so I just use it. Um, I found a shirt in my car, but I couldn't find any pants. So, I am getting ready to start my workout routine. Well, it's not really a workout uh, routine. I just, you know, do what I can because I just started my working out journey. Um, so I'm trying my best to stick to a set routine, usually just cardio, and then I get into like trying to build some muscle or whatever. <laughs> not a, um, what is it? Um, I'm not a full gym person yet. Jimmy? Jimmy? Sure. <laughs> oh, that's it, gym rack. I'm not a full gym rack yet. But I am trying to get into workout more, um, just to stay healthier, I mean. And I also, um, my body weight fluctuates a lot, so working out is pretty good for me. Anyway, let's get into running. <laughs> um, I guess not running, treadmill. Treadmill? What is this thing called? Cross ring? Cross ring. So I just left the gym. Um, another person like came in and I got anxious. Well, my social anxiety kicked in and I basically just hurried up the last workout that I was doing and got out of there. This is why I go to a very small gym because I can't go to a big gym. I'm way too socially anxious and I get way too nervous and panicky fast. So yeah, so I feel good. I didn't let my morning get wasted. I worked out, you know, I was productive. Um, thank you guys for coming along with me today. Well, this morning, even though it didn't turn out as I planned. I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. And I hope to see you soon in the next video.